Guys, so welcome back to the boy Gadget's Link. I also in a day, okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Uh, today is Sunday, and of course, I know some of you may have definitely went to church and uh, you pray for your loved ones, your friends, most especially me. So, guys, uh, for those of you who do not know, Prince Ari is currently in town. Prince Ari and his uh, beautiful wife. Uh, Princess uh, Megan are currently in town. And for those of you who do not know, uh, Megan is like forty, more than forty percent Nigeria. Possibility that she has Nigeria blood running through her veins. If you guys do not know that, well, they are currently enjoying themselves in Nigeria, and. Obviously, there are a lot of controversies going around, but so far, so good. I can see uh, Prince Ari is doing his work, he visited uh, uh, the soldier hospitals, uh, army hospitals, then uh, Megan visited charity, and uh, of course, women empowerment programs, and so many other functions as well. And meanwhile, the prince, of course, visited other places as well and you know they are just enjoying themselves why in ninja they came to abuja then i think they're currently in lagos they came to abuja then they proceed to lagos they're currently in lagos now as we speak although there are a lot of control buses like i've uh, like i've said not from prince ari and prince from prince megan we're talking about from the nigeria federal government so people are complaining. Why didn't you take them to the quack hospitals that are in Nigeria? Why are you taking them to this uh, fine military hospital? Well, guys, we are not about to dwell on that. So far, so good. They enjoy themselves. You know, they come to pay. I don't know how these functions uh, normally goes, but we welcome them and. Uh, wish them safe return when they, whenever they are going back and i wish i could also meet them as well that would be a really really nice thing for me to do to meet them interact with them you know beg them for money <laughs> <laughs> so to the duke of success and his uh, princess his royal highness prince ari uh i hope you guys are enjoying yourself there are people carrying this king and princess for her there as if it's the ultimate things. But uh, me, I don't really, really bad it. Eh? I don't believe some people in this world can be born into a royal family and some are just ordinary people. I don't, I, I don't understand that concept about a life. So I know they really, really dwell on that particular place. But I wish them all the best. I'm so, so happy. I'm glad that they are here. And I hope they enjoy themselves so let's move back that let's talk about uh tiwa savage tiwa savage water and gary honestly tiwa savage in a movie is not what i expected honestly if you ask me like few years ago if i if i ever picture tiwa savage becoming a movie star honestly i would say i don't think so but oh, Obviously, we saw what happened, guys. Tewasabe was great. It was so great. He did a very fantastic job as the lead, uh, as the lead actor in Watangari. Did a really fantastic job. The love scene, the kissing scene, and so many other scenes as well. But Honestly, I've already watched about uh, 40 minutes of that video. I've not been able to complete it because, of course, I need to do other stuff. But I'm, I'm going to complete it. But so far, so good. I love her uh, acting skills. She's great. So forget what the media are saying because the media are trying to bring her down. Someone like uh, Daniel Rega, what he said, this review about uh, the old show is not. <laughs> That the Riga is crazy. This review about uh, Tiwa Savage was not really favorable at all. Gave a very nasty review. 
but that is just uh, who Daniel Rega is, and that is what he feels. But honestly, that review was not great at all from Daniel Rega. Tiwasavi did a very massive job, being the first time she's ever acting. So she's going to improve. She's going to work hard for it. She's going to improve. So, guys. Uh, according to what uh, Danerega said, he said, man, Danerega is savage. He said, Tiwa Savage new movie, Watan Gary, is close to 1.5 over 10. Not even 5 over 10, no. not even 2 over 10, 1.5 over 10. Thanks to the cinematography. It's boring to watch. What's the correlation between the title and the movie itself. Ten minutes into the film, there is confusion with the storyline. The movie also has disappointing dialogue, no specific direction and poor acting, especially from the main actor, Andrew. There were a lot of error like how Tiwa Savage was smoking in a night gown with bonnet cap. But always sleep without the same bonnet cap. Uh -uh. The English to pigeon switching, the kissing, love making scene where both where, where both actor went in without unlocking the door. Meaning, Asha doesn't lock her door when going out. In addition, there were too many unnecessary scenes like the restaurant scene, the Okada gang scene, at the thirty-fourth minute plus the flashback which had no value to the movie. <laughs> Furthermore, the movie lacked realism. Considering how police were portrayed, were portrayed in an unrealistic way. Lastly, you, unless there is a sequence, which I hope not, is, <laughs> this guy is crazy. He said, unless there is part two, which he hope not. <laughs> There are so many loose ends in the film, and I fail to see the moral story lesson being conveyed. No offense. Okay. For those of you who do not really who, who think that Dan Erega might be right or wrong, and you have not watched the movie, I think Dan Erega review should push you a little bit to go and watch the movie. Hmm? Then they say one thing about review, whether good or bad, is going to push people to to know why you are reviewing that movie, to know why, you know. So just go and try and watch it and uh, give your review yourself. Just watch it and whatever you feel, just say it. Don't you know, just think, but because it's her first time acting, and I know she did a very fantastic, wonderful job for me. First time, very very first time acting. I've never seen her acting before so she did a wonderful fantastic job guys wonderful fantastic job fantastic job i beg give her a break 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 mm, danerega when has danerega ever review anything and gave a positive review before <laughs> when has Daniel Rega ever reviewed anything and gave a positive review before? I've never seen her. I'm still trying to see. When? Okay, guys, uh, let's move past that. According to Tatcha, this clothes she wore cost approximately 100,000 US dollars. That's about 140 million Naira in this hard economy. Last year you wore a $20,000 outfit to the NBC. This year, how much do you have to cost? It's 100K or nothing. Naira dollars? Sorry? Naira or dollars? Excuse me? You say you're laughing there. Seriously laughing at you because because like, what are you saying? 100,000 dollars! Economy of one state. Lord have mercy. See, I wouldn't 
to come up and show up and then have you guys guess what I'm wearing or how much you guys are wearing. So, no, what, I, I don't think we're giving out the price to this tonight. But let me know. What do you guys think is what? <laughs> In this side economy, guys, well, obviously, <laughs> looking at the way she answered, Sefe, you can tell that she's obviously lying. Now, big lie, she did lie. She no buy that thing for hundred thousand US dollar my shit. Big lie. Even if okay, maybe she meant to say one thousand US dollars. One thousand US dollars. That dress is not still worth it. Let's be honest. That dress is mid. Maybe that dress will be close to like three hundred thousand naira. If oh, close to two hundred, oh, let me see. Okay, five hundred thousand naira. Ain't no way that dress is close to one thousand US dollar. Ain't no way. Except there are diamonds. There is no diamond, just a white gown. Abba. And you guys who are gullible is going to actually believe that I was saying that dress actually costs 100,000 US dollars. And you guys will believe. <laughs> oh, so they don't feel why you now. They are whining, you guys. And you guys are falling for it. That one are pure whining. Confound whining from the deepest pit of whining. Eh? The best bit of whining, hundred thousand US. I swear on God, that cloth no reach one point four million naira, one thousand US dollars. That that stress is me, five hundred six hundred thousand. If the cloth go there expensive that much, which is the why the wine uh, the, the Jesus, why the wine Jesus. So now we actually believe, ah, actually believe, ah, bah. They know the wine you now. 100,000 US dollar, you know, I know it's 100,000 US dollar. Me, <laughs> this touch, that wow, that wow, that wow. Ah, that's how they lie about stuff. Well, that's how they lie about stuff. And later in their career, by the time they start asking for donations or something, and people don't want to donate, they'll be calling those people crazy people. Hundred thousand US dollar. Who born you? Who born monkey? Now we have for see the money. Eh? You have for see the money. Well, if you believe that one, are your risk. Oh. That one, are your own risk. That cloth is not worth one thousand US dollars. Need five hundred, six hundred thousand. Okay, it's understandable. Six hundred thousand need. That dress ain't worth close to one million no no i can i can swear for it i can swear on it look at it now it just there's no diamond before you see all those high hand fashion eh there must be like gold diamond very rare fabric you know but but there's nothing rare there's no details into the cloth there's no details there is nothing it's just white gown Made the put beads, white beads, finish. White beads, finish. That's just it. There's nothing more. There's nothing. Are you guys actually gonna believe it? Come on, man. They know they whine on sometimes.